The biggest extant land mammal, the elephant, family Elephantidae, is distinguished by its long trunk, long snout, and upper lip, columnar legs, an enormous head with flat, broad ears and temporal glands. Elephants have coarse, sparse body hair with a hue that ranges from gray to brown. Although they inhabit a variety of environments, such as deserts, marshes, and highlands in tropical and subtropical regions of Africa and Asia, they are most frequently found in savannas, grasslands, and woodlands. The African savanna elephant, also known as the bush elephant, Loxodonta africana, has a shoulder height of 3 to 4 meters, 10 to 13 feet, and a maximum weight of 8, ooh, zero, zero, kilograms. Smaller than savanna elephants, African forest elephants, Loxodonta cyclotis, inhabit rainforests and were recognized as a distinct species in 2000. Its tusks are thin and tipped downward. There is no evidence to support the widespread misconception that pygmy and water elephants exist. Instead, they are most likely subspecies of African forest elephants. The Asian elephant, or Elephas maximus, can reach a shoulder height of 3.5 meters and weighs approximately 5,500 kilograms. Three subspecies of Asian elephants are recognized. The Sumatran, E. maximus sumatranus, the Indian, maximus indicus, and the Sri Lankan, a Maximus Maximus. Elephants in Africa have substantially larger ears, which help them to release heat from their bodies. The trunk proboscis, the trunk, or proboscis, of the elephant is one of the most versatile organs to have evolved among mammals. This structure is unique to members of the order Proboscidea, which includes the extinct mastodons and mammoths. Anatomically, the trunk is a combination of the upper lip and nose. The nostrils are located at the tip, the trunk is large and powerful, weighing about 130 kilograms, 290 pounds, in an adult male and capable of lifting a load of about 250 kilograms. However, it is also extremely dexterous, mobile, and sensitive, which makes it appear almost independent of the rest of the animal. The proboscis comprises 16 muscles. The trunk is raised by a large muscle on top and the sides, while a smaller muscle covers the bottom, Fine movement in the trunk is achieved via a highly intricate network of transverse and radiating muscular fascicles. In trunk cross sections, a total of around 150,000 muscular fascicles have been counted. The two proboscidean nerves that innervate the trunk give it extraordinary sensitivity. The majority of the trunk is reached by the bifurcations of this nerve, particularly the tip, which has tactile bristles arranged at regular intervals. The African elephant utilizes the pinch, taking up objects in a way much to how humans use their thumb and index finger, while the Asian elephant often coils the tip of its trunk around an object and picks it up. African elephants may have longer trunks, while Asian elephants most likely have more skillful trunks. Elephants also utilize their trunks like hands in various ways. Elephants use their hands to grasp trees and use their tails and trunks to scratch areas they cannot reach. Sometimes, big branches are used, and things are tossed in displays of danger. Elephants may touch one other on the face or entwine their trunks when they come together. This trunk shake is comparable to a human handshake in that it may be used for comparable purposes like greetings and assurance, or it can be used to gauge a person's strength. The trunk's ability to breathe, drink, and eat is essential. Instead of using the mouth, the trunk is used for most breathing. Elephants get their water by first sucking up to 10 liters, 2.6 gallons, through their trunks and then squirting it into their mouths. With the end of the trunk, they break off grasses, leaves, and fruit and insert it into their mouths to consume. In order to shield themselves from the sun and insects, they also use the trunk to gather grass or dust to spray over themselves. Elephants rise and swivel their trunks like olfactory periscopes when they sense danger, presumably smelling the air for information. Sound production and water storage elephants change the size of their nostrils when air passes through their trunks to produce two different types of vocalization. Growl, rolling growl, snort, and roar are examples of low noises. Bark, gruff scream, trump, trumpet, pulsating trumpet, trumpet phrase, and cry are examples of loud sounds previously believed to be the result of intestinal activity. Rumbling sounds are now understood to be produced by the voice box, or larynx, and are comparable to a cat's purring. The larynx and the pharyngeal pouch, a unique structure connected to it, are where vocalizations begin. 
tongue and voice box in most animals are supported by the hyoid apparatus, a box-like structure made up of nine linked bones in the throat. There are just five bones in the hyoid apparatus of elephants, and muscles, tendons, and ligaments fill up the space left by the missing bones. These more flexible attachments provide the larynx more range of motion and facilitate the development of the pharyngeal pouch, which forms directly below the tongue, do, to its distinct shape and voluntary muscles. The pouch can be employed as a resonating chamber for calls that are made at frequencies lower than those that are audible to humans. Elephants up to four kilometers, two, five miles away, respond to these low frequency, 524 hertz calls. Elephants are able to perceive infrasonic sounds as seismic waves. According to experiment data, low frequency sound waves may travel through both the earth and the air. Elephants can beat their trunk against a tree, the ground, or even their own tusks to make a range of various noises. Pharyngeal pouch is thought to be useful for carrying water in addition to producing sound. For generations, Humans have noticed that elephants will put their trunks in their mouths on hot days, and when there isn't any water available, take out some liquid and spritz themselves with it. Despite the fact that the pharyngeal pouch was first identified in 1875, the origin of this liquid and how elephants managed to remove it remain a mystery. The pharyngeal pouch and the stomach are two possible origins of the fluids. However, the acidic contents of the stomach would hurt the skin. Furthermore, rather than digested food from the stomach, the sprayed liquid contains microscopic food particles that are typically present in the pharyngeal pouch. Lastly, it has been repeatedly seen in the field that elephants are capable of spraying themselves as they run or walk. The pharyngeal pouch is most likely the source of the fluids since it would be difficult to draw liquid from the stomach while running. Heat absorption is another potential role of the pouch, particularly from the delicate brain region above it. Tusks and teeth Elephant tusks are composed of larger ivory incisor teeth. Unlike Asian elephants, which generally only have male tusks, African elephants have both male and female tusks. When tusks are present, they are typically short, thin, and have a consistent thickness in females. Asian male elephants that lack tusks are referred to as muknas. Tusk shape and size are hereditary. Tusks can be used for digging, lifting objects, attacking, defending, obtaining food, and removing bark from trees so they can consume it. When the elephant charges, its delicate trunk is nestled between them for protection. Elephants use their tusks, feet, and trunks to dig water holes in dry riverbeds during dry spells. Throughout their lives, elephants will develop six sets of cheek teeth, molars and premolars, but they do not erupt all at once. An elephant's jaw contains two or three pairs of cheek teeth at birth. As worn teeth break apart in front and either fall out or are swallowed and expelled, new teeth begin to form from behind and gradually advance forward. The new sets get heavier, bigger, and longer in turn. The last molars can weigh more than five kilograms, about 11 pounds, and be nearly 40 centimeters, almost 16 inches long. After the age of approximately 60, just the final four molars, or their remnants, remain. Because tooth loss causes malnutrition, it can occasionally be the cause of death. Reproduction and life cycle elephants reside in small family units headed by mature females known as cows. The groups assemble where food is plentiful. The majority of males, or bulls, reside away from the cows and bachelor herds. There are two glands that open between the ear and the eye in both males and females. This opening allows elephants of all ages and genders to emit a substance known as temperin. However, during a period known as the must period, Males secrete a fluid that is different in viscosity from the fluid they do not secrete when they are not in mus. The elephants that are in a state of mus have higher serum testosterone levels than those that are not, and their behavior is unpredictable. Mus is Hindi for intoxicated, sometimes even out of control of their mahouts. Male in mus ranks higher than non-mus males, which can be a deviation from the typical social hierarchy mus. is the time for establishing reproductive hierarchy. In the wild, Males often undertake the majority of the breeding during mus, when they are physically at their peak. Elephants use their acute sense of smell to determine each other's reproductive condition. Elephants have seven or nine nasal terminals, specialized sensitive tissues within their skulls that are used for smell. Dogs have five terminals, humans only have three. Elephants are said to be able to sense hormones in the air when a female enters estrus or a male enters mus. After being collected, the data is sent to the Jacobson's organ, which is situated on the oral cavity's roof. 
The chemicals are transported by this organ to the brain for examination. Additionally, urine and feces can be directly smelled for hormones. Mammals have the longest gestation period, 18 to 22 months. The baby elephant weighs over 100 kilograms, 220 pounds, and stands about a meter, 3.3 feet tall. It suckles at mammary glands in the chest area using the mouth rather than the trunk. The lengthy process of weaning can occasionally last until the mother is unable to bear the pricks caused by her offspring's growing tusks. After being weaned, eating takes up many hours of the day. Elephants enter their second decade of life with early sexual development. Asian elephants reach sexual maturity around age 14, while African elephants reach sexual maturity between the ages of 10 and 12. Males depart from their natal herd, or herd of origin, at that time to live alone or in small herds with other males. On the other hand, females spend their entire lives with their natal herd. Elephants, both male and female, develop temporary alliances for mating or feeding even though they live apart. Elephants in captivity can live to be 80 years old or older, but in the wild, their lifespan is just 60 years or so. There is insufficient evidence to support the existence of purported elephant graveyards, where elephants are said to congregate before passing away. Migration elephants move seasonally in response to food and water availability. During this period, memory is crucial because they may recall the locations of water sources along migration routes. Memory and intelligence have also been noticed together. One elephant filled a hole it had previously dug for a water hole with sand after removing bark from a nearby tree with its trunk and tusks and chewing it into a big ball. The elephant was then observed to expose the sand, unplug the hole, and drink, a activity that might be considered the creation of tools. Few other non-human animal species share the ability to recognize oneself in a mirror, as evidenced by a research conducted on captive Asian elephants. Elephants can travel up to 40 kilometers per hour, 25 miles per hour. Although they are not able to gallop or jump, their large weight is easily supported by their well-adapted feet. Beneath the slightly elevated heel is a dense, fibrous, fatty wedge of tissue shielded by thick skin. Elephants sleep for three or four hours at a time while lying down, so getting up during the night is difficult for them. Elephants sleep briefly while standing, but not for very long. An adult elephant needs roughly 100 kilograms of food and 100 liters, 26 gallons, of water per day. If the elephant is particularly hungry or thirsty, these amounts can treble. Elephants are an important ecological component because of their extensive consumption, which has a significant impact on and even changes the habitats they live in. Importance to humans, the Asian elephant has been valued for many generations as a draft and ceremonial animal. In a technical sense, Elephants have not been domesticated since, unlike cattle, horses, and dogs, they have not undergone selective breeding to improve features that humans find desirable. The Indus civilization from the third millennium BCE is the first recorded history of domesticated Asian elephants. Elephants are seen in soapstone carvings in Mohenjo-Daro and Harappa, Pakistan, with material covering their backs, suggesting human use. Elephant trainers in India and Myanmar, known as Mahouts and Uzis, are highly trained individuals who spend years in close proximity to the elephants. The uh, elephant's handlers tend to all of their requirements, strengthening the link between man and beast. In certain regions of Asia, the ancient manual known as Hastivadiyarama, which describes the recommended training methods in great detail, is still in use today. The elephant, led by its Mahout, was originally an essential component of Southeast Asian logging operations. It has been entirely replaced by automation, yet it still represents power and spectacle. About 5,000 captive elephants were kept in Thailand and Myanmar at the start of the 21st century, when they were used both for traditional purposes and as tourist attractions. The most well-known instance of elephants being used in combat in history was during the time of Hannibal, the youthful Carthaginian leader who crossed the Alps from Spain into Italy. In 218 BCE, he departed from Cartagena, Spain, with 37 elephants, 36 forest elephants from Africa, and one Asian elephant, each under the care of a skilled Mahout. The only Asian elephant that made it to Italy was Hannibal's personal elephant, Surus, which means Syrian. In the Belgian Congo throughout the 1800, African elephants were also domesticated. 
King Leopold II of Belgium started the training of these forest elephants, which was carried out by Indian Mahouts with Asian elephants. Nowadays, the primary purpose of African elephants in Garamba National Park is to carry tourists. These animals are important because they generate income that supports the park's operations. Conservation. There were less than 50,000 Asian elephants in the wild at the start of the 21st century. Elephants in Asia and Africa are classified as endangered animals because to habitat degradation and poaching. African elephant populations in the wild fell by more than half between 1979 and 1989, from 1,300,000 to 600, 000, 000, 000, in part due to the demand for ivory in the trade. But in some regions of Africa, elephant populations are large, and in some reserves, culling is done to stop habitat degradation. 1997, a nine-year ivory trade embargo was removed allowing Botswana, Namibia, and Zimbabwe to sell Japan a restricted amount of ivory that they had stored in government warehouses. Together with the other three Southern African countries, South Africa began selling a restricted quantity of ivory from its stock in 2000. Thanks for watching.